you have a specific vocation. You are equal, for that matter, there is a fundamental equality of dignity among all Christ's faithful. Both perfect Ekaritates, number 8, and Canon 676 of the Latin Code, very clearly say, hold up to the pastoral works of mercy to which God has called you. Some time back, when one of our Adobe's passed away, I was preaching. I said, God called me to teach here in St. Peter's. I get recognition from so many partners. So many acclaim me, my students, sometimes. But then this man was doing a monotonous work, doing faithfully what was asked of him without grumbling. And in front of God, he is much higher than me, I told, during my work. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, the first message I want to transmit to you on this occasion is, hold on to your ministry. Hold on to your specific charism. Do not be grumbling in course of time because of the attention some others are getting. You should not do it. Like the people of Israel wanting to go back to Egypt, then only poisonous serpents were sent to teach them a lesson. Do not grumble about your own occasion. Rejoice in your own occasion. That's the first thing. Graduation day, my dear brothers and sisters, is a day of rejoicing. It's a day of gratitude. Lord, thank you for all that you have done to us. We are not the same when we entered the portals of Sierra Institute here. We have grown in manifold ways. Thank you, Lord. A day of the 